and welcome to ESNCAS installations, repairs and more. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Chinese genetic suspension. Uh, as we know, the suspension is very good, uh, works great, uh, we can do upgrades to it and we can do a lot of things to it. So yes, I recommend this suspension, it's very good, works great uh, and it's cheap. But it needs a upgrade that is that it needs to happen because uh, otherwise uh, the suspension becomes weak and eventually breaks. So with this uh, reinforcement, uh, the suspension comes solid and you won't hear uh, that noise. Also, you won't have those wobbles or anything like that. We make parts every day. With, you know, we work really hard for you guys so you can actually uh, fix your parts that, I get that you buy and we show you how to install them and all that. Um, as well, we make our own parts to support them, to make them better, uh, to help in installations and so on. And as you can see here, I have uh, the, the installation kit for the support of the rear suspension. As well, I have over here the kit for the FATMAX installation. And also I have the, the kit for the installation of the rear brake, the caliper installation straight to this uh, suspension, which is make it a simple thing. And again, it's a suspension that you can actually uh, um, modify and make it for the parts that you need to. So let's begin with the installation, just follow step by step. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's begin. Now in this step, I'm going to be removing all the screws around um, the battery cover. And for that, I'm going to need uh, torque number 15. As you can see here, it's a very bad one already. But it's torque head number 15, and it's a secure lock. So just remember, when you are going to remove the screws, you can use your, your screw gun. But when you're ready to put the screws back in, you are going to use your regular um, pin screwdriver. Now, when you find several screws that are, are damaged, you don't use your uh, screw gun to remove. As long as you feel that, that the screw is damaged already and you see it, actually, that the head is already bended and all that, don't use the screw gun. Get it out with your regular um, screwdriver. You don't need to remove all the screws from it. You just keep it in there and put it in a safety place so you don't have to be dealing with the screws later on. Just make sure they are safe. Now that we have, now that we have everything open, the screwdriver, the, the battery is exposed, and all the wiring is exposed. Safety first, always. So what we're gonna do again, as we can see, this is already pre-done. So what we do, unplug it. And there is no way to make a mistake because it's a female and a female connection. So that is done. Now we're gonna try to turn on the scooter. And there is no power, so it's all good. So, and now the next step is remove the, the motor. Next step is going to be to remove the, the mud car. So the next step is going to be to remove the mud car. And for that, we're going to use torque number 15 for the um, removal of the mud car. Now I want to show you, as you can see, I already tied up the screws in it. I tied them up fully. I flipped over the scooter so I can actually show you guys how this thing is. As you can see, this thing is um, fully, it has a big gap when you install it and you think that this is not going to bend. But as you can see this, see this, this is where it moves. You see the big gap and this thing is already tied up. 
So this big gap is going to get, get together until it hits over here. So and it's the, that movement is what it makes the, uh, the, this thing to break from here, from this bending. So I'm going to show you how easy it is. You see we have this one over here. And look, look what happened. Done. So right here. Already push over there. And then what happened is that this, uh, <clears throat> you can see I can actually even pull it with my hand out. So that's, that's how weak it is. So when this thing is jumping, when you are in motion, this thing is going to continue to bang, bang, bang until this part breaks. I had several already broken. So if, in order to prevent that, you need to add that space. I'm going to show you right now. And this part, I don't want to tie up the screws fully. I just want to leave a 1 16 of an inch gap in between the suspension and the, and the base of the scooter. And the reason is because um, for the, to give that little space for the support to get clumped together once I tie them up fully together, once uh, that's the support is installed, this is going to clump together and that's going to make it really solid. And make sure as well that there is no gaps in between. And with the screws, you can put the pressure that it needs once it's done. As we can see, I'm going to be moving this up to show. You can see that's the gap it has to have before installation. So first, we're going to make sure that it's on the base from the, from the suspension. It is has a 16, a 16 of an inch gap in between. As we can see, I can see a screw over there. So that's that the, the maximum we want to keep. So we have the solution for that, so um, that's the brackets for it. It consists of one that it goes behind like this. It's gonna hold it so it doesn't uh, actually give the right level for this part. <clears throat> it doesn't let go, let go, and then uh, once it press fully, this will hold the other part not to move down. So this is gonna be just exactly, I mean, uh, for it. So this stay there, doesn't move, and doesn't let it come out. For the first holes, we're going to use the, the small one, and we're gonna make sure to have the size that are actually in the side that, are, that we want it. And again, we're gonna make sure this three down there, as you can see, fits perfectly. So, we're gonna drill the first hole in. You can see, Okay, well, we want to make sure also that it's in level the, the bottom part. So now we're ready to, to drill and remember to cover everything inside to tape it in. So it's actually uh, once you remove this stands out, there is no any particles of metal on it. This drilling is very easy. Put it in. And that's it. Now, to make sure that the other one, that the screw is gonna be in place. I mean, the hole is, everything's gonna be in place. What we're gonna do is put it right there. Now, level it again. We just screw it in so it doesn't miss the space. Now we're ready right there, see as you can see. Now we're ready to drill the second hole. And that's it. That's the drilling part, simple as it is. Now we are ready to install the first part, which is the bottom one. And the screws head comes from the inside, stays on the inside, the hole. So one screw out. Second screw. Right there. And as you can see, and this is perfectly measured for it. So I put the second one, which is a support. Again. Let's just double check this to show how this is actually going to work again so we can actually understand it better. Put 
So as we can see, again, this is the part that is gonna go behind this. That's the one that is gonna prevent it. Once it's uh, tight, this is gonna prevent it to bang against uh, the body of the scooter. And then uh, the second one, it is going to be the one that is gonna actually prevents it to come down once it's done. Now for this part, uh, we are going to use thread, thread locker and another little thing on this side. The other thing I want to show is that, uh, that for this um, from the inner part to prevent any water or anything to come in in the inside because of the threat of it, uh, we simply want to add a little bit of a uh, gasket maker so we actually make sure that this is going to be sealed forever it's not going to be leaking or anything through it okay switch it in and where the nuts are going to go even though if there are there are nylon heads actually so we're going to use a red um, lap type all in it, just one drop. Gonna hold it right there. I'm gonna make sure that this is absolutely tight. And that's it. That's the installation of the support. Now that we have it right there, I'm gonna gently remove mine cover. Remember, this is for the standard fitting of that when you have this stack battery and you have your oil components on it. But if you have um, a long battery is already installed over here. Um, you're gonna have to remove your controller or whatever parts that you, you need. But in this case, you need not need because it's actually way above from the from the rest of the components. Make sure just to have your wires completely off, cover your area where you're gonna be working so there is no metals going in that side. So and that's it. Now the next step is just to Tighten up the screws from underneath. And by the way, I did put the uh, red thread lacquer on it, I mean, um, to those screws already. So that's those will gonna actually seal them completely at once. So that takes them all the way to where they need to go. And that's it, now this thing is secure. This will not move, because now it's press, it's compacted this way, and it will not have that movement against to the side. See, towards the back it will not move, it's only towards that side, like this. So now that this, with this support underneath, and in the back, so it doesn't damage this part of the scooter side, and it will not break because it will not have any movement. So it's just done. That's how it is. And this guy had a lot of sun on it inside. Anyways, the sand from the beach. As we can see, that is done. As you can see underneath, completely locked. And there is um the first part is all the way behind and the second part is the one that actually stays under. We're gonna use the red thread locker 
in um in a sealant in the inside so you push it all the way through and when you push it in the, the screwing and so it seals it completely so there is absolutely no gaps in it